Good evening everyone and welcome to Admiral Markets webinar. Today is 22nd of June 2015. My name is Nenad and uh, we, as you can see we have really a volatile market. We have some uh, bad trading conditions due, uh, for Euro dollar. All other pairs are more or less uh, better but Euro dollar is really really now bad to trade. As you can see, we have a lot of ups and downs uh, and it all depends uh, how Greece and Euro European Union will conclude it. But still, as I can see it, we have indeed some possible possibilities to short again. But be very, very careful and do not risk a lot for Euro dollar. It's really now a bad time to trade that pair. So. If you don't have to, do not trade it. Uh, but as always, I will present uh, possible setups based on my views at the moment. Uh, of course, uh, before we begin, our standard is disclaimer. Online educational materials are available by Admiral Markets as Estonia for a global audience. Therefore, please take into consideration the information this session may not be suitable for everyone. To get a corresponding information on charting conditions and any other detail, please visit www.admiralmarketsglobal.com, select your country of residence and contact an appropriate entity. Risk disclosure statement stating all possible risks associated with Forex market. By accepting the risk, you're also proceeding further with me. Admiral Markets UK LTD takes no responsibility for financial accuracy. The analysis represents the personal opinion, opinion of the author, it's me and in no way it represents the actual suggestion for the trade. These are not MUK's opinions at the website. In the video is not a .co.uk website, but a globalnews.com website. Forest is risky business, and this is personal opinion only, and this webinar is for informational and educational purposes only, okay? So with having said that, we are ready, ready to proceed. For all newcomers, all session recap trades analysis is done with Camarilla MACD, so my proprietary method. You need to give price a breather. You can enter within 5 to 10 pips of the predicted level if it's in agreement with your system. If you're following my trades, then do not risk more than 0.5% per trade or 1% maximum, depending how many trades you will take. And uh, always, always, always respect your stop loss. Add a spread to your stop loss. We take only one position, okay? First touches, remember this, this is important. First touches of the zones and levels are most profitable ones. Usually second, third touch of the zone is not that profitable, but the first, usually that first touch of the zone is the most profitable. Uh, it happened with GBP dollar today, if you read my analysis, I posted it on uh, Forex Street and you could have seen that two and three, uh, three touches of the zone I put there, it, it was 58.10, they it produced something like 20 pips. So uh, that, that's all, that's very important. How I trade and how I usually, you, you can see everything from these session recaps that the first touches of the zones have really been the most profitable ones. So position trades are always trend trades, alternative trend trades are so-called counter trend trades, okay? Breakout trades and scalp trade levels are done independently and I usually serve as, as a second entry. Usage of trailing stop is highly recommended and these setups are valid for today, tomorrow and sometimes the day after tomorrow. Okay, you know that I always update my analysis and very often you will see the updated analysis, the updated analysis uh, on the Admiral Markets website, Forex Factory, Forex Street. Uh, first, I always put my analysis on Admiral Markets, an al uh, technical analysis, so you can read it there. And uh, usually if something uh, unexpected can happen, I can do revised analysis and the revised analysis I did with the Australian dollar which gave us 35 pips of profit last week I will show you and then again uh, guys uh, if you see scalp trade opportunity do it 
very close at the zone at the level very close to the level okay or at the level at the price level itself all uh, scalp level trades are calculated by historic levels and camarilla you can add all these levels which i uh, talking about to your system pay attention to twitter updates and the term pips pool we use is the maximum available number of pips we could have made on recap entries previous week results okay so this is indeed 15 15 okay 15 of june 2015 uh, results and so not this day it was 15 so i will uh, put it like this so 15 last recap uh, for the sound uh, uh, everyone can hear me but jenny saying no sound uh, if you don't have a sound please restart okay if you don't have the sound please check your speakers or restart okay so the sound is good so i don't know why why you have problems but the sound is really good okay uh now uh, euro dollar indeed guys uh, it's too subjective a uh, last week result because i i was telling you to sell with stop loss at 1.1470 now if you were if you were selling and keeping your stop loss here where i told you you made some pips but also i my trading of euro dollar uh, last week was not that that good uh, basically i did some scalp trades here and there and I was caught in some whipsaw, so uh, to be honest, euro dollar was, was too subjective. If you made one trade with, with 1.1470 stop loss, there is some chance that you were in profit, of course, because stop loss was never hit, and every rally towards 1400 was sold. So it, it depends how you manage your trade. If you trade. If you did only position trade, as i was telling you then you were in profit but uh, if you were trying to make some intraday setups on euro dollar then the chances are that you are in a loss so concerning only this uh, session recap i can say that session recap is good for euro dollar because every rally towards 1470 was sold but from intraday perspective the price never never managed to break lower zone so i really do not i really cannot say that euro dollar was good to trade it would be a little bit uh, i say stupid that i say that euro dollar made 50 or 60 pips because maybe you made 50 or 60 pips with euro dollar set up but still i don't see very very good uh positional trading with euro dollar now the only thing which i can say for euro dollar is i will give you setup for this week and you need to decide it whether you will take it or not but if you ask me i don't know i am i'm not very big fan of euro dollar because okay i will explain just uh, to just after i finish with the results pound dollar didn't qualify for entry but it managed we managed to grab the trend perfectly and you could see that pound dollar was really in uptrend as i suggested unfortunately it didn't make to our entries but the uptrend was very strong australian dollar revised analysis gave us 35 pips okay i will show you revised analysis new zealand dollar gave us it depends 30 or 100 pips it hit target at 69.10 and you could have read a revised analysis of new zealand dollar on uh, admiral markets website of course but also even if you didn't if you took just one entry i presented on last recap you could have made at least 20 30 pips because it was some sort of a scalp trade which was pretty much momentum trade and it gave us good pips Australian New Zealand dollar again the trend was captured but we didn't get the entry 
the price didn't pull back to our POC. Now, of course, the trade of the week was definitely New Zealand dollar because New Zealand dollar is following the trend perfectly. It doesn't make any whipsaws as Euro dollar does. So New Zealand dollar came and hit our target. So now we need to see further development uh, in order to calculate next entry. But for at this time, I will give you Euro dollar pound, Australian dollar, Euro yen and dollar yen analysis for, for today, tomorrow and possibly day after tomorrow. So this was uh, last week plan, market plan, Euro dollar. K, it was in downtrend, but it was ranging up, down, up, down. Uh, as I was telling you, positional trading is dangerous. It, it, it is dangerous, guys, because this price action is, I don't like how it looks, really. Euro dollar is bought on dips, okay, but uh, fundamentally, Euro should not be bought on dips. Fundamentally, Euro dollar should be sold. Uh, even though if Greece, if Greece and the European Union come to a positive conclusion, uh, the chances are uh, the chances are uh, that the price has already been calculated into that positive agreement. So we could see a next leg of selling if uh, even on agreement, okay, even on agreement. Uh, yeah, Jen, I will explain uh, GBP dollar setup. But as as far as as uh, I can say it at this point, for euro dollar, it's dangerous to trade positional trade. You can try to trade it. Again, you can see 1470 was a, a great stop loss. So even though if you were so selling it here, you could have made some pips. If you were selling it here, if you were selling it here, so you see, as I was telling you, every rally towards 1470 could have been sold. That that is happening, but also we can see reverse head and shoulders formation here, and uh, there is a possibility that euro dollar will jump again uh, on positive agreement. Until then. Until then, I think that these rallies will be sold. So do not do not rush into euro dollar if you don't have to. Pound dollar, as you can see, pound dollar. We had two buy positions. Unfortunately, this buy position came 20 pips close to our entry. So I told you to buy around 55, 15. If the price dropped just 10 pips from this level. We could have bought. We could have bought it because uh, the thing is, as I was telling you, five to ten pips is always the zone. Sometimes you can extend it to 12, 13 pips, but here the price was 20 pips close to our buying level, and if if it had dropped 10 pips only from this level here, we could have made a good order. Okay, a market or pending order, and we would have been in a great profit. And you can see that we have captured the trend perfectly. I hope that you have made money with this analysis, even though if it didn't hit our entry level, it was very, very close to our entry level. So I hope that you made some money at least trying to buy it a little bit higher, but unfortunately, now, this trade was missed just by, by, by some 10 pips, but the trend was captured perfectly. This was revised analysis I did on Australian dollar, guys, on June 17th. And you can see this was June 17th when price was starting to move. And I was telling you that if it breaks 76.75, it can go to touch 76.35. It indeed touched 76.45. So that was 30 pips, but still I warned on Twitter if it breaks 7700 again, it can be bought. So after this, even though if you didn't sell it, if you just went with buy trade, guys, I think that you made some good money with Australian dollar because it was it was good to trade. So 
first we had a po sell position here so if you enter sell but some people didn't uh, told me that they didn't sell it sell it they bought it so basically buy from this zone after this analysis was very very fruitful okay uh, New Zealand dollar this was revised analysis but it, it held the same level as here 7012 you can see perfect touch of the level uh, that was a brilliant Camarilla MACD capture so this was that zone and you can see what happened basically and uh, after this setup I made another analysis in New Zealand dollar and again again I was telling you that this level here 69.90 we can sell it and that exactly happened so check it on Admiral Markets website so New Zealand dollar trade of the week definitely trade of the week hit our level everything was good concerning New Zealand dollar Australian dollar New Zealand I was having a good hopes really a good hope that the price will pull back to our entry level unfortunately the price didn't make any pullback to my entry level you can see it here it just kept ranging 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 it made some very small pullback and unfortunately unfortunately this level was not hit but you can see the trend again was captured perfectly and Australia New Zealand indeed indeed uh, hit our target but it didn't make any pullback before it okay so hundred uh, so total of 160 pips could have been made not bad concerning how euro dollar was indeed bad to trade now this week setups I will go now through it Euro dollar is in whipsaw. Okay, this is whipsaw on euro dollar. As I am telling you guys, if you don't have to trade it, do not basically again. This is crucial. Greece may exit or stay in eurozone. As I was telling you, my opinion, my opinion has not changed. I think that Greece will stay in eurozone. I think that Greece will come to conclusion and I think that nobody wants Greece out of Eurozone okay so uh, uh, the thing is uh, we are uh, we are having some uh, I cannot say uh, we have an aligned movement in euro dollar because we have uh, technical charts which tell us buy 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 and we have uh, fundamental charts which are telling us try to sell it and still every single rally was sold so that is why guys uh, why I'm telling you that basically uh, euro dollar uh, you see uh, you look at this look at this what did I tell you 1350 guys 1350 what did I tell you okay look today look this is whipsaw price action it doesn't depend of your capabilities if you lost the trade on euro dollar it isn't your fault really do not judge your trading system or anyone besides uh, this market is bad to trade now look this whipsaws look at this this is this is untradeable now really we, we how should we trade it this is some sort of a triangle we can buy it we can trade it and the only thing I don't care if this will go up and down at this point because I'm staying away from euro dollar I can scalp here and there even some scalps were not that good but look at this we are really here we have two very very important points on euro dollar guys 1470 and 12 let's say 90 85 okay okay yeah modris euro cad euro australian dollar are better but look at this this is not good for trading this is i don't this is whipsaw up down up down up down we don't have any direction so this is why i am telling you the only thing 
Position sell, 4 in 30, stops 4 in 70. Do not risk much because this is not very, very good. This can be good trade, but from this perspective, I don't see euro dollar good for trading. So this is use 0.6% of a risk for this trade. Do not make 2% of a risk. It's not good. Uh, alternative buy also 1325, 1290 target is 4 in 10. The only thing what I can tell you is try to trade this triangle. Okay, this triangle. Okay, 1325, 1325. This is the level. 1325. Okay, you can try to buy 4 in 10. You can try to basically take some profits at 4 in 10. Okay, if you want to make some positional trade go with stop loss on uh, 4070 again this can be a buy trade with stop losses at 1290 okay this is really not that good for trading now because you know guys when price is depending on political factors now this is not economic factor this is political factor now euro dollar this is not standard news trading this is not uh, i can say nfp this is now strictly, purely political trading. How can I know what will happen? Because I don't decide whether the Greece will exit or stay in Eurozone. It's not my decision. My personal opinion is that Greece should stay and will stay in Eurozone. Okay? And I think that, I think also that, that also that Mrs. Merkel, and Mr. Spiras also know that Greece should stay in Eurozone. It's in nobody's interest to dump Greece from Eurozone. So they, sh they will make an agreement, you know, guys. But you know when you negotiate, you always try to have a little bit of, uh, you know, you, you need to pull the strings as long as you can. You always need to have that 1% of advantage. And they are trying to squeeze every single 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 po every possible every possible single deal so every every single uh, uh, every single pension cut percent every uh, every single penny from from this these negotiations you know banks currently do not work uh, i have heard that Gre that people in greece uh, basically they pulled 50 billions of dollars from Greek, Greece ba Greek banks and moved the money to offshore. So basically, they're in bad position now. You can buy a house really down in, in Thessaloniki and the Halkidiki for 1,000 euros per square meter. It's really cheap now. And people are trying to save their money. But because they're pulling the cash, from the banks, it's not good for, for Greece economy and for, for their uh, national bank, central bank also. So it's, it's not, the, the situation is not good. So, but I still think that, that the situation will be resolved at least for, for some time. But I, everyone tries to get their advantage. European Union, uh, creditors, IMF and Spiras. So everyone try to pull their their own their own strings. But what can happen is only negotiations. And of course, everyone, no one will be happy when this is finished. No one, believe me, because Greece needs to cut their uh, GDP for pensions from 10 to 2 percent. Spiras has won the elections because he promised that he will not cut any pensions. If GDP in Greece uh, go, if if total of 10% of total GDP goes for pensions in Greece, it's too much. If you ask me, I have I also have a university degree in economics and master de degree in economics, and I know that 10% of a national GDP is not is not to be used for pensions. It's not normal. This is now uh, we are not living in communism or in in a social liberal uh, state. We need to to apply. We need basically to to accept current world conditions, not current uh, 
European conditions, current world conditions. And if, if they need to cut their uh, total GDP, which they use for pensions, they need to do it. Maybe they will find something in between 2 and 10%. But definitely the creditors will not invest and help anything or IMF will not give any money to Greece until they made that promise. Okay, so they need to make some cuts and that is a hard thing to do, but it, 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 it needs to be like that. Maybe not in the percent as IMF suggests, but maybe they will find something in between. But I still think that there can be a solution for this uh, deadlock. Okay. Uh, deadline, I have heard and I have read, I think, today uh, that uh, deadline has been extended on uh, Greece, so maybe 30 of June, I'm not sure, but you can read it, try to go on Forex Live or, or try to visit our tweets, me and my and Admiral Markets, we have tweeted about that, so uh, I think it's 30 of June, but not sure still, okay? And yes, Goran is saying he thinks that Greece will stay but uh, also debts will stay and debts are not, uh, debts are high, yes, indeed. And I agree, uh, debts cannot be erased overnight. So that is why I'm saying, guys, from this current perspective, I think that euro dollar could be sold, really. Okay. Now for GBP, what can I say about GBP? GBP is in uptrend. Uh, we have, uh, as I was suggesting today, guys, uh, the analysis showed, I, I think that you, let me show you the screen. I think that you all read the analysis, which I made to do on GBP, okay? I will show you now. Uh, let me just, uh, okay. I will show you my screen now. Mm -hmm. Law is saying, thank you for the great insights, thoughts on Euro Greece. Well, you know, guys, I am... I need, that is my job, I am really following all those news and all these things, and not just about Euro, Euro dollar, all those economical, economical disturbances, whatever, but I really, I really do not see any, any progression in the long term over Euro Greece. It can be maybe for short term, some short term progression, but until they made some really heavy cuts to their pension system and military spending, I think that the situation will not be so great. That is my opinion. Of course, if anyone of those influencers and people who decide about situation would ask me, I would tell them the same. So they need to make cuts. Okay, I don't have any insights in their national economy numbers uh, that I can say go with 10% of the cut or 8%, but definitely they need to make some cuts and they need to make some cuts to military spending. Uh, Christian, uh, I recommend forexlive.com. That is a very good site for fast news and I always have it opened on my, uh, on my uh, screen. So Forex live.com is a great really great website uh, uh, yes uh, Flores is saying I thought that the pension is a property of the person indeed but you know uh, 50 years ago when pension system was founded uh, the world and economical factors were a lot different so you cannot have the same pension system 50 years ago and today a lot of things have changed, but not all the things have changed for the better. So we cannot keep the same pension system which we have founded 50 years ago in 2015. It just cannot be sustained. A lot of factors have changed. A lot of factors. Guys, Kilimanjaro and, and, and uh, Maldives can, be, can just disappear from the state of the world in next 40, 50 years, guys. And we have learned that Kilimanjaro has been covered with the snow. Now that snow is melting and it will disappear. We have learned in school that Maldives are one of the, maybe the, the most beautiful places in the world. And I have learned that 50, 20 years ago in the school, okay? 
And in next 20 years, that will be a history because it will not exist anymore, guys. Venice will be flooded maybe in 40 years. And we have learned in our history that Venice was a famous love city, okay? Now, in next 40 years, maybe it will be a history. It's been over flooded. It's flooded with, uh, by the water, guys. So nothing is constant. Things have changed. And I always say, not always for the better. So we need to adapt. That is why we are having, guys, all webinars, all sorts of webinars, because you need to stay in the shape. Current trading conditions are not the same as they were two years ago. So we need to adapt to those trading conditions. We, know, we need to adapt our systems, our methods. We need to adapt and we need always to look at a bigger picture. And no way that politicians will tell you the truth. No way. That's politics. Okay? They don't tell us the truth. You need to dig the truth. Okay? So, GBP dollar. What did I say today? It trades at the bottom of the rectangle range, but it's still in uptrend. If you have read this analysis, if you made an entry here, you could have made at least 20 pips by now because now the price is, now it's end of day trading, and you can see that uh, really GBP dollar is, is, is trying to go up. So yes, this was when I did the analysis, and we basically have a double top now, uh, 58.40. So uh, 20, 30 pips could have been made. That is why I decided to put this uh, plan a little bit lower. Uh, 57.90 could be another buy position with stop loss 57.55. Now, if sell happens at 57.53, stop loss goes at last high, target should be 57.20 and 56.80, okay? That is basically the same analysis I did today. So nothing has basically changed from my today's analysis. The only thing is that that has changed is the timing. Now we are, you can see, we are basically in, in end of day trading. Look at Euro dollar, guys. It's dropping. So what did I tell you? It's not very, very good to trade at all, guys, at all. Yeah, the pound is resilient indeed. It is resilient, but... Uh, just watch this level. So 57.90 to 80. So this is something maybe we can try to exploit. This should be stop loss and below this level, of course, we can see a breakout sell towards 57.20 and 56.85. So this is still a rectangle. You can see a rectangle. And even though if you don't know where rectangle is, you can make a trend line here and you can chart a rectangle here so this is still still uptrend but uh, because uh, you uh, gbp dollar is correlated to euro dollar and euro dollar is going down now and uh, now it's end of day trading we still can see maybe some some uh, uh, um, that the price will reach 57.90 then jump so we we need to wait okay but pay attention to that okay pay attention to that uh, yeah, we can expect uh, 1.60, but only, only guys, if this level is broken. So you can expect 1.60 only if this quadruple or this is quintuple top, really 59.27. So call it 59.30. If 59.30 is broken and we see a four-hour close ab above uh, 59.30, we can expect 1.60. Okay. Only then, guys. Only then. Okay. So this is the plan. Okay, so yeah, this is the plan. 57.55 is my target uh, because uh, the thing is, no, sorry, this is 57. I stop loss and target is 50. I will write this after the webinar. 57.20 and second target is 1.60. Okay, so these are the targets. 57.20 and 1.60 so first target at the bounce of this and of course use trailing stop use trailing stop guys uh, 59 20 so this is 59 20 somewhere around here 
and if this breaks we can go to 50 to 1.60 okay 1.60 so this is first target this is second target and the break of 57.53 should target 57.20 56.80 okay and yes if you if you put another trend line here uh, like this okay uh, this looks like ascending triangle indeed I will make this a little bit uh, more visible okay let me trend line properties okay yes this looks like some sort of ascending triangle and this is a running and setting triangle because vortex or the pinnacle of this triangle has not been reached okay so the vortex is here so yes it's an ascending triangle flat top ascending running triangle okay so yes only if this level breaks we can expect 6000 okay uh, now we move on to Australian dollar uh, this is from last webinar so I don't think there is some news on Australian dollar. Let me check this. But I don't think there is news. Let me just check the calendar here. Okay, guys, uh, let me show you the calendar. I will use Forex Factory calendar. Okay, let me see. I was just checking calendar here yes no Australian dollar strong news so there should not be any problems okay okay so let's move on to so if 50 9 30 breaks we could expect 1.600 okay okay Yes, uh, we had a setup on Australian dollar on Friday, and let me show you now. Yes, I will show you my setup on Friday. Uh, that was Admiral Markets website. Yes. We had a setup, and yes, the price indeed rejected, okay, and now it's going down. But still, I can see that some situation, yes, it's still working, Alec. Uh, if you made some money, it's good. I advise you to close the profit now. And yes, it was a good setup on Friday. You can see where the price rejected, and this setup gave us great amount of pips okay concerning how training is at this time now it's not so 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 good Australian dollar gave us a good setup here at this point you can see it here 77.90 and now you can you could have made some 70 pips of profit but now guys we are coming close to important support where Australian dollar jumped a lot of times in the history. A lot of times in the history, okay? So we should not forget that it jumped from this level and this level and this level really many times in the history. So do not, do not think that it could not jump again. Because look at this strong breakout retest continuation. That is why I think we could buy around 77.10, 76.80 stop, 78. Okay. So maybe we will sell it again. But at this point, if you are in Australian dollar trade, I advise you to take the profits. You you can take the profits. It's easier that way. Okay. Okay. So this is now the plan for Australian dollar now euro yen we can see euro yen here okay euro yen 
you can see here sell at 14470 14110 139.50 okay euro yen we have a pattern which shows potential reverse head and shoulders but still the price has been rejecting from this level so i think that we can go with good risk to reward at this point if we sell it here around 40 140.7065 stops are only go at 41.10 and we can try to get 139.50 139.50 okay here okay a range play on euro yen but still possible to short it higher because a lot of historical rejections at this point one two three one two double top double top next should give us some initial pips so euro yen and Aust dollar yen sell around 123.50 only 70 pip stop loss a uh, 20 pip stop loss 122.80 so that is the plan for dollar yen okay it's close to entry now and you can see only if this level breaks it should be back in neutral to uptrend zone at this point we can try to short it keeping stops very very low okay and we will see so this is guys uh, this is the plan of course do not forget to read the analysis on admira markets website okay uh, I don't see, Jen is asking, do you think that for tonight cable can get to 58.60 for a scalp trade? 58.60. Uh, uh, what would you do, Jen, at 58.60? Yeah, dollar cat, I will go through it. I don't know, uh, I didn't mention 58.60 on cable. I just said that you see it's rejecting from this region as i predicted here and today it's rejecting from this region okay uh yeah dollar cad no problem dollar cad you see very very similar to dollar yen but the thing is that dollar cad is having a v-shaped reversal okay v-shaped reversal you can try to go with buy trade gen but still you need to have a risk you should buy it you should have bought it so far because now the price is 58.24 and i told you to buy today at 58.10 so try to go with low risk lower low risk yeah you can try but go with low risk and this is v-shaped reversal diving board so i don't think this is good to trade okay this is the level if it breaks it can go up but until then this can be also sold because this is v-shaped reversal i don't see any interesting with our cat at this point okay really nothing interesting here okay so guys uh, let's see uh, you need to be patient when market is volatile and market is going up and down and definitely do not forget to read to read guys uh, uh, my analysis which i post every day on admiral markets forex factory and i will use this opportunity to remind you to register uh, for my webinar with uh, forex street which will be held on 30 of June. So we have two webinars, part one fundamental analysis and news analysis concept and premium users of Forex Street, of course, will get uh, news and NFP trading methods. So if you miss this and you don't know what this is, sign in for these two webinars. So this is exclusive webinars on June 30, starts at 14 GMT, 5th and 3rd, 13 GMT with 15 minute break in between. Okay. So sign in for that. Uh, Euro yen, of course, Euro yen. Uh, 
Uh, this is Euro Yen, what I see on Euro Yen. Sell uh, around this level, stop loss is here, target is here. Okay. So Euro Yen, we should see maybe another another uh, push to the upside on Euro Yen. Okay. Uh, as I explained, four hours shows show us some rejections from this zone. And only here above these levels we can see some uh, possible movement to the upside. Until then, this is too short. One, two, three, four shorts. You see how this is historical selling zone. And target 139.50. So this is now interesting. We will see how the situation will develop. Uh, so I don't see any further questions, guys. If you don't have any question, as I say, yeah, Jen is saying wish you great evening and thank you. Thank you, Jen. Thank you, guys. Uh, I'm trying really to give to to give you my best uh, because this is now very very hard to analyze uh, and trade just because Greece situation. But you see, Camarilla Magdi is really doing wonders, and I'm trying. Sometimes I spend one two hours for each pair trying to see the patterns. Nati saying hello, thank you for uh, FRB indicator. Yes, FRB uh, guys is uh, my personally developed method of uh, range bar uh, trading, and I'm currently also uh, developing Haken Ashi uh, uh, range uh, range bar price action. The, the system will be called Harp, and uh, it's currently in development. So we will see. Okay, so guys, thank you. Of course, for listening, uh, do not forget to read the analysis. Uh, these are the entries. These are the levels. Let's see how the price will behave. And do not risk a lot because the time is not to gamble. The time is to go slow, step by step. I will be here with you very soon. Cheers, and as always, trade safe.